ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਸਾ ਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਮਾਈਟ ਹੈਵ ਹਰਡ ਟੂਡੇ ਔਰ ਔਰ ਸੀਨ ਔਨ ਦ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਦੀ ਹਰਡਸਵਿਲ ਗਰੂਮਿੰਗ ਗੈਂਗ ਹੈਸ ਬੀਨ ਜੇਲਡ ਫੋਰ ਅਬਿਊਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵਨਰਬਲ ਗਰਲਸ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਜੇਲਡ ਫੋਰ ਟੋਟਲ ਆਫ ਮੋਰ ਦਨ 220 uh years out of the 20 men who were convicted so far 16 have been jailed and uh, four are awaiting sentencing which will take place next month we at the SAS welcome the uh, convictions and the sentences doled out by the uh, judge hats off uh, to the judge but more more importantly we pay um tribute to each and every victim who came forward firstly to report these heinous crimes but to go through uh the grueling court process which has taken nearly a year to conclude and to bravely give their accounts you know what i cannot praise them enough for their courage and their tenacity in helping putting these monsters behind bars the judge in in the court uh, said one victim attempted suicide and another was seen thrown out of a moving car outside her home being found under the influence of alcohol and drugs there's a lot a lot of crimes committed against young children and judge jeffrey marson qc said none of the men had expressed any remorse none of the men had respect none of the men had expressed any remorse so reporting restrictions were lifted uh today and that's why we're making this uh, video this is the first time in 12 months but we were there when this court case uh started in leeds and we were there we were there earlier on this year as well we actually got thrown out of the the court we were sitting outside the uh, court 12 the jury had gone out uh, and the perpetrators were mulling around that area and they all ran to their barristers and complained about me and three girls they felt intimidated by us and we were asked to leave the court these monsters you know they were raping girls and raping children and yet they were frightened of three girls and and an elderly man So now we can report on this case. I mean in this video we're not going to report everything. Um but you should um read up on this. It's you know heinous crimes have been committed against the uh, young children. But we can report that the ringleader of the group was a 35 year old Ajmer Singh Tariwal who's who's jailed for life and he has to serve a minimum of of, of 18 years and uh, is found guilty of 54 offenses. as including countless rapes of children so he was the heart of the group uh who referred to each other using nicknames including dracula beasty chiller uh other nicknames were used the the court heard that the uh, married father to committed countless rapes inside incited child prostitution trafficked girls across the region and filmed their abuse on his mobile phone and ajmer singh tariwal is is number 1 but there's 19 other people there's another punjabi so there was two punjabis and the rest all 18 are muslim names for uh, so ajmer singh tariwal irfan ahmed zahid husain mohammed uh, kamar uh, kamar mohammed rizwan abdul rahman raj singh basran uh, naman mohammed mansoor akhtar vakas mahmood uh, nirsat husain sajid husain mohammed irfan fazl nadim mohammed azim mansoor hasan naiz ahmed Uh, he was a 54 year old naz naz ahmed uh mohammed imran mohammed akram he's raw you know and he's the model that was used in this case uh of exploiting young girls has been used across the country the lover boy model 
used in Rotherham, Rochdale, Newcastle, Oxford, Bristol, Dewsbury, Leeds. There is not a city where this, ha this kind of thing hasn't taken place. To all the left is watching, there is a plan that's happening in every city. And the perpetrators are coming out with the same names. There is definitely a problem there, which the government needs to have a look at, needs to have a, a, a deep look. And the only way we're going we're gonna to get down to the bottom of this, the root of the problem, is if we call a spade a spade. We can avoid what we see as facts. I know I've said it many times before, one-to-one -one grooming, pedophilia, we live in a white country, we're going to get a lot of white criminals uh, committing that kind of crime. But when it comes to these rape gangs, you are getting the same names every single case. Guys, wake up. There is a problem. We've got to call it what it is. And when we fully understand it, we can put the resources towards that to eradicate this kind of problem. Going back to the case, one of the girls said, like I said, the lover boy model they used, they got their trust, they got their love, and then the abuse started. Uh, and one girl said her mum's and dad's house was trashed, their cars got trashed, she constantly got raped and beaten up. This abuse was vile and wicked. So this is why it says immense courage to the victims. I sincerely hope that these victims get all the help they require, all the counseling they require, so they can become from victims to survivors, from survivors to thrivers. And it's not only these people uh, these monsters that should be behind bars. Anybody who's failed these victims, anybody working in the councils or the care homes or, or even the police, anybody who's failed them, they should also be brought to justice because they failed to do their duty, which was to safeguard children. So again, I pray for the well-being of all these victims, we thank the judge from the bottom of our hearts for doling out these impressive sentences. But guys, be aware, be prepared, and stay safe. Wahe Gurji Ka Khalsa. Wahe Gurji Ki Fateh.